Glory. Let's just lift up our hands. We give you praise. We give you praise. Wrap me in your arms, Lord. Glory. It's nothing like that secret place. It's nothing like that place, man. You can just kind of let everything go. All the worries, all the cares, all the frustrations, everything you've been going through. Just like a child, you just sit in your daddy's lap and you just just in his arms and his presence. And he just you just know everything's gonna be okay. Everything is gonna work out well. And he's just saying, trust me in this. Trust me in this season. Trust me in this time in your life. Trust me. Just trust me. Just trust that I know what I'm doing with you. Trust me. That's that word I hear. Just trust, trust, trust. Rely on me. Depend on me. I am enough. I am more than enough. Have I not said that I am El Shaddai, the God who is more than enough? All sufficiency is in me. Everything you need is in me. I'm the God who will orchestrate everything on your behalf. I'll bring all things together and make all things plain unto you. Just wait and see. Just obey me and trust me. As you do that part that I've told you to do, more will be opened up to you. I know that fear has been knocking on your door, but he says, trust me. Trust me. Trust me that I've already been working behind the scenes. I've already been working in your body. I've already been preparing things for the way to be made plain and straight. He says, trust me. Trust me. And I need you to say this. I trust you, Lord. <laughs> I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you with my mind. I trust you with my marriage. I trust you with my children. I trust you with my family. I trust you with my money. I trust you in my life. I trust you with my career, with my calling, whatever it is. I trust you. Be faithful. Be faithful to the thing that's in your hands, says the Lord. Be faithful to that thing. Be faithful to the thing that I've already put in front of you. Be faithful to that. Treat it like it's much, even when it's little. And then you will be rulers over much. Be faithful, for I will not violate my word, says the Lord. I will not violate my principles and laws. So follow and trust that it will work. Now it's time to rest. It's time to rest. Rest in your mind, rest in your body. For there is a spurt of growth that is about to hit. There's a spurt. There's a spurt. There's a window. I see a window of, of great acceleration that's about to take place. But it's going to require great work. But great focus. Don't be distracted by what's on the right or what's on the left. Do what I told you to do. Shoot. Mm. The anointing is present, man. It's Real heavy, yeah, 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 yeah. Trust, trust, yeah. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Yeah, Lord, yeah. Ooh, yeah. This is a time of great refreshing for people. A time of great refreshing. You've so much. You've exerted a lot of energy and force, but now is a time of. This is your harvest time and you got to know rest, rest, rest. Pick the work, pick when to rest, rest. We rest in the finished work of Christ that he has already done everything that is needed. Then our faith appropriates it to our lives and we believe that we receive it. But in your mind, you need to rest because your minds have been racing. And God is saying, I need you to settle down so that you can focus on the things that I'm telling you specifically. It's the clutter. It's the clutter of busyness that has drowned out my voice. And I need you to be still and hear from me. For that one thing that I tell you to do will open up other doors. Glory to God. Man, I see this. It's like such a calm and peace. On I see that thing so clear. Just rest and enjoy this season. I hear this thing. Enjoy the rest of this time this year. 
because we're about to hit a whirlwind in faith. I don't know what's about to happen. Something is about to hit, not just us, but this earth. We got to be ready for it. So you got to trust God when it doesn't look right. Trust God, even in this election, trust God. Trust God. No matter who's appointed, who's elected, trust God. We are gonna see it. For the body of Christ is rising stronger before the return of our Lord. Shebre said, come on, I see that man, I see that thing. My God in heaven, woo, it's such a peace. Man, I see this thing. It'll look like upheaval and craziness, but I'm telling you, there is such a peace in his body like never before. It's just peace. <laughs> you don't have to stress, struggle, and strain not for one moment longer. Trust. Yeah. There's a boldness and there's a confidence that's rising up in God's people. Yeah. It's an ease like I've never experienced before. It's a rest, it's a joy, it's an excitement. And it's like I see it even in generational gaps, the ages, the younger are so excited, but the older are finally like, okay God, I can enjoy the fruit of everything I've sown now. There's going to be great joy in Zion, great joy, great joy. There'll be great mourning and there'll be times of tragedies that'll begin to happen in the earth, but be of good cheer. He says, I've already overcome the world. So that doesn't affect the household of faith. The household of faith is the household of faith. The household of faith is the household of faith. The household of faith is the household of faith. Anigumbre, lirisi, he he he. For she grande, she grande, li grossi, la grande, brofrete, masete, romande. For they are being released here and there and there. Apostles and prophets, evangelists and pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Here a little, there a little. And they're popping up all over. And they're popping up all over. And they're popping up all over. For they have been strategically placed for such a time as this. For I'm blowing a fresh wind, a fresh wind, and a fresh fire on people to energize them for this next push and move. For many signs and wonders shall be wrought in the name of my child Jesus, for he's seated at my right hand forever making intercession for you. So believe that, rest in that. That is already done. Rest in that. <laughs> glory. Glory. To God be the glory. I'm talking about an ease in receiving healings like never before. It's time to see the demonstrated miracle working power at an accelerated rate now. For I'll make things whole. 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 Not just healed, but whole, whole, whole. It'll heal in one area, but it'll make it whole in everything else, whole. I'll heal your body, but it'll make you whole even in your mind and in your money and in your relationships, whole. And you'll see how connected everything is in the spirit. And I'll begin to open up, yeah, for it, yeah, that's it, that's it. For the eyes of your understanding of being enlightened this day, says the Lord, and I'm releasing those things that you've been praying, and I'm going to show you like you've never seen before. Households. Households. I see y'all's household. I see people coming into your households more, filling your household, and the power filling the household. And the teaching, filling your household, and your teaching gift will be cultivated in those atmospheres. Yeah. 
wholeness, 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 wholeness. I can't hold this in anymore. I feel like I got to release this, finally say it. Nicole, God's been talking to me about you. I don't know, it's about your health. It's getting your body ready. It's like, I, he probably already told you. I'm sure he's going to just confirm whatever he's already said. It's like your health. That thing just keeps coming up to me over the past few days. And it's like, what, do I need to tell her? Do I need to say anything? Or just leave it alone? I know it's safe, but it's like, no, just, it's like you're preparing your body to receive. Your health is going to be whatever, whatever he tells you to do. With your diet is concerned, your exercise, stress levels, do it. And just stay faithful. Whew. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, could, I, I feel like I could stay in this vein. Oh, I could move on. It's like it's up to me either way. Because <laughs> I want to finish teaching you, but I want to make sure I'm releasing everything I need to release in this moment. I see it. I see it, Spirit of Fire. He just wants us to get everything in order. That's when he talks about getting your house in order. Get everything in order. I'm telling you to get in order. From your finances to your budget to your body to your marriage to your mind. Rest and just get everything in place. The stuff I'm telling you to do, just do it. If I'm telling you to get your money in order and to see what's coming in and what's going out, that means I want to equip you and I'm stretching you for more. Get ready for more. Get ready for more. More, 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 more. Hallelujah. Yeah. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God. More. More. Hallelujah. They're coming. Just, just hold tight. They're coming. He just had to get some things in order and straight. They're coming. <laughs> Lord, I remove my agenda out the way and let yours be pre preeminent. Not the way that I wanted to do it, the way you want it done. In the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Glory to God. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's like y'all just need a refreshing. I, I felt like that today. I didn't know what was going to happen. But it was like I knew I heard that. It was like a refreshing. It's a refreshing. It'll be pockets like this where the power will just show up and he'll just sit. This is only like ankle deep that we're talking about now. It's going to hit strong and stronger. I'm telling y'all, go ahead and get ready for it. People are going to want to come in just to get in this presence and the power. Just the power that's supposed to emanate from this place of times of prayer and fasting and getting on our face before God and pushing aside those things and laying aside every weight in the sin that does so easily beset us and running the race with patience, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. 